What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Ocean Block Let's Play for, I think this is episode 9? I think? I'm not sure. It could be 10. Um, so, uh, I've just been doing a lot of busy work uh, on here. I've had to increase my power and uh, my cables to the basic versions. I don't have any on me. Um, but the basic version... Uh, Maybe I put them in this chest over here. Yeah, so the starter only does 100 FE a tick, where the basic uh, does 1.4 thousand. Uh, so uh, those are super easy to make. All you need is just two of the old cable a capacitor, and that's it, and it upgrades to the next one. Um, but everything after this is going to start requiring hardened compa hardened capacitors or these ender cores which we are very far away from uh getting um because again we have no uh ender pearls but i have kind of a plan for that so um we just need to uh get through making our power source and water source a little bit better which by the way i've also upgraded the sluice to a diamond one um because it's much faster as you can tell uh, also, this little wind-up thing here, um, as you guys probably remember me talking about, I need to make a macro for that. Well, I did, and uh, you can see how much faster that is. It's uh, it's insane. So basically, all this macro is is just right-clicking with like a 20 millisecond delay or so uh, on it, and I'll just take it back up to about three minutes, uh, 40 to 50-ish seconds, and then I'll stop. Uh, but it is working wonders, uh, especially after upgrading the sluice and the fact that it can go so much faster now, um, that I ended up just making a time in a bottle. I didn't, I could, I couldn't wait for the episode to come out because I needed this, uh, like ASAP. So, uh, it could start storing time. So you could see every second that goes by that I have it in my inventory. It doesn't even need to be on my hopper. It can be just in here. Um, I don't know if it'll work if it's in a backpack, but um, we do need to make a backpack, too, because our inventory is filling up constantly. But um, it stores time in there. So the way that you go about using that is if you shift and then right click a machine, you can see now that's running twice as fast, um, which is great. And then if you just keep clicking it, it's going to use more and more time as you do that. Um, it's all relative to what you're doing. So you can see how fast that thing's going now. And how um, this iron or auto hammer cannot keep up with uh, with the demand. It's actually the sand and its output there is going down, um, which is uh, perfectly fine. And you can even see that the hopper is having a hard time uh, keeping up as well. Uh, regular old hopper. So um, that's kind of how I've been accelerating some stuff because I really needed gold. Uh, and diamond and emerald is also something that's like, super needed right now and osmium uh we've been using a little bit of that as well so all of these things are needed sand is pretty good because um sand gets us all the like basic materials go to the gold mesh here so it gets us like basically all the metals uh so copper and iron and gold uh are the three main ones that i want out of this silver wherever it is there it is is also going to be kind of useful as well but um and there's osmium down there too but for us to get like redstone and stuff we need dust and honestly i'm getting kind of low on redstone so i might uh set this back up for um dust while we work today um so the goal is today is uh to get ore tripling set up um, I also made a, a pipe upgrade here because when I was accelerating time, it um, it could not keep up. So uh, I made one of these that uh, when you change this to an output or input, you can then right click it. And it's very cool that it has like a built in whitelisting. Uh, there's distribution. It This is way more advanced than I thought it was going to be. So uh, let's go grab another pipe too. Uh, what other things have I done? Um, I've made a couple more machines. I expanded the farm over there. Uh, let's just make sure we're good here. Yes. 
We'll just give that a little bit more time. It also burns through the time a lot faster because the diamond one is faster, so it's using more water. Um, both these guys now have their respective enriched versions of them. And basically all that means is that you took a redstone um, or coal and put it inside of an enrichment chamber, which, like, I don't know what eight is, but um, octuple? Yeah. No, oct octuple is... Octuple is eight, yeah. It octuples the output into here. So it's much more efficient. You just take it through one more um, process and then you get a lot more bang for your buck per thing. And like I said, I'm pretty low on iron, so had to do that. Uh, I also have a very small ore doubling setup right here where I just put in my clusters here. They get thrown into the enrichment chamber, which then get thrown into the smelting factory and then get thrown out here. Um... And all of that is done through these side configs. I also kind of regretted some of the past episodes because I, I wasn't really going through each step. I'm just assuming that you guys understand the basics of this. But there's probably some of you watching that don't understand what you can do with these machines. Like, you can't just plop them down and then they all work. Uh, most of the time you have to do small little bits of configuration. So when it comes to machines... Um, a lot of them will have their own config uh, options here on the side. So you can right down here, we can actually see this is all for mechanisms specifically. Um, we can see how much power it's using. So it's using 20 a tick, and we know that our uh, magmat magmatars, magmatars, mag magmator uh, over here generates 70 a tick, but we can pull 200 out of its internal buffer. Um, but really you should really only ever go against the how much it generates not necessarily what the extract speed is because if you're not generating more than what you're using um then you're going to be losing power and eventually you're going to be completely out of power so you can see this guy is filling up his buffer again because i actually tick accelerated these blocks here uh just a moment ago and uh so the way that that whole process works is that Let's grab a, a metal that we want to um, duplicate. We could just do more iron. No, let's do osmium. Where is osmium? There we go. Uh, and then we just turn these into its clusters. And just so you can see the whole process here, I just put these guys in here. It gets pulled and pushed into here because I set these uh, config here to where the top is an input and you see how it's red that's color coded with the box that's here that's also red uh, so you see green for energy there and blue is your output there which is set to the right of the machine um, and so when it pulls from the top it gets thrown into the right section and then it ejects it off to here where its input on the left is set to these red ones here and the blue ones are its output uh, which is the finished bars of it that get thrown into here. So that's how that works. So don't think that I'm just placing these down and they're just working properly. That's the order of things. But we need to throw another one here to set up tripling. Um, and then it's going to go down a huge chain of uh, machines here. But there's a lot of things that we need to do in between all that. Um, also, I've made my own... Uh, what is this called? Blue magma block? Uh, by just putting lava inside of my dripper over compressed cobblestone, uh, 1x compressed cobblestone, it turns it into a magma block, and then it has a 5% chance of turning into one of these guys. Um, so it took some time, but holy cow, is this lava gen so much better now. So actually, uh, I had to make two tanks because I found out that when this is full... The inventory that it's trying to push a liquid to it'll create a cell is it a cell or uh let me just look it up this thing container so i don't know if there's yeah there's a whole bunch of containers for liquids so basically when um that machine can't put lava into a tank anymore it just looks for the closest chest or inventory or something for it to start throwing these containers of whatever liquid it is in there so this used to be uh, that iron chest over there for my cobblestone. 
And it was, uh, I went over there one time after I cleared it out and it was full of lava cells. So I changed it to a drawer that only has cobblestone in it and currently has 3,200 cobblestone in it. And I've only had, only have one iron upgrade in there. So this is probably going to go to like, I think like 6,000 or 8,000 blocks before it's like, I can't fit any more in here. But the great thing with drawers is that you can just keep upgrading these things. And um, iron is the lowest upgrade. Oh, no, it looks like, what is that? Obsidian. Obsidian is the lowest, um, which uh, increases the internal storage by two, uh, which holds 32 stacks. So one obsidian upgrade would take that to a 64 stacks. One iron will take that to... Uh, what is that? It's quadruple 32, so 250, no, 128 stacks. 128 stacks. I can do math. Um, and then there's other things, too, where you can downgrade uh, if you only want to keep so many in the, in the drawer, which can be useful. Void upgrade is incredibly useful because it'll destroy excess items so nothing gets clogged up. Um, the creative one, where... <laughs> Of course, of course, there's a recipe for it. This looks terrifying. 128 million um, OP, I guess, is their power source. So probably just RF would work. Um, and uh, vending upgrade lets you... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, and it even requires a creative storage upgrade. And, oh, 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 that's so scary. Uh, that just lets you pull out an infinite number of whatever's in there. So you could put in like one super crazy, um, hard to make item like these like ultimate singularities or the ultimate energy cube or whatever and pull out as many as you want. So honestly, if you're going to be going the creative route, making one of these, uh, creative vending upgrades, probably, probably your best bet because it's, it's like infinite duplication. Uh, of those things, but um, you have one that converts items as well. Up uh, redstone upgrades, which uh, emits signals. Uh, that's cool. Illumination illuminates drawer labels in the dark. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, I need to check that out just to see what it looks like. And then there's a bunch of keys where you can lock either this one locks the type of item that can go in a drawer. This one shows you the quantity on the outside. Uh, which I can't afford right now because it requires, well, I could afford it. I just don't want to make, <laughs> I don't want to make a book and all that stuff. Uh, and then a concealment key, which I guess hides the labels. I'm not quite sure why you would ever want that one, but I like the fact that there's an option. The only other um, notable thing about this is outside of the fact that you make single drawers, you can also make um, double drawers, which will hold two items, uh, but at half the stack per drawer so you see one full drawer that can only hold one item one type of item can hold 32 stacks but if you make you want to put two items in the same space it only holds 16 uh, and then you could do four which holds eight um, there's also half drawers so if you want don't want them as like big uh, just like a nice thin drawer of something you can uh, you can make them half size uh, compacting drawers are great and we are going to be using these because when you throw in say redstone in there you can either pull out redstone or redstone blocks um, it'll compact it basically one or two tiers of whatever the thing that you throw in the lowest thing um, so you put a couple of compacting drawers in a row and throw cobblestone in the first one and just push it down the line eventually you can get to like octuple compressed cobblestone um, and, uh, the controller is used for, um, storage systems like refined storage, which we'll get into, uh, later. So anyways, that's what we're doing. Uh, let's actually throw a pipe on here and see if it, I, I haven't actually had the need to pull out more. So let's throw that on there and then we can start this process again. You can see that it takes seven seconds now for it to make a bucket of lava because we had now have a high temp underneath it and it's just going to go. It's just going to keep on going. So we we're back on, uh, on our, on our lava gen. Um, so the things that we need to do, uh, we need to make a 
purification chamber and a, an electrolytic separator, which basically takes water, separates the hydrogen and oxygen from it. And um, we also need to make a gas generator too. But um, And we use the oxygen inside of the purification chamber, and that's how we get tripling ores. Um, honestly, that's as far as I'm going to take it. With mechanism, you can go up to octuple. I, I'm pretty sure. I th I'm pretty sure you can eight times an ore. You put in one iron ore or cluster of whatever. It goes through uh, like 55 machines, and then boom, you got eight iron bars at the end of it. Um, it's incredible, honestly. If we're in this world for long enough, and you guys pester me enough, maybe we'll make one. Uh, but honestly. I have not found a need to make it any more complicated than tripling because it is just, it's, it's good enough. Um, also, I almost died to this thing again. I've realized I could just turn it off and push myself up against it, grab the experience and turn it right back on. Um, so uh, I'm dumb. You know, some of you probably saw that and were like, Dwight, you could just turn it off. You don't have to <laughs> like try to scoot by. Um, Oh, also this whole setup over here, I'm trying to make clay. Uh, I want to do this recipe right here, but with water, sand, gravel, and to make clay because I've been using a lot of clay. And um, this seems like the easiest way to make it currently uh, outside of like mystical agriculture, which is we're still kind of far away from. Um, haven't explored the ocean yet, but I have explored more of these little crates here. And while I was at, I actually found fins uh, to complete the set. So we have uh, we have a couple more quests to turn in. Well, I also found the broken heart, the third piece, which uh, will give us uh, four more health. Also, creepo, which so good. It basically means that when creepers come up and they start to blow up, they just disappear. Um, they just, they pop and they disappear. I also found two speed upgrades for our sluice. Um, but we need to upgrade. I found this out the hard way because, uh, you know, someone went and used three emeralds to make fortune upgrades to increase his, uh, sluice and, uh, found out that you can only upgrade the, um, netherite one. This guy right here. The netherite one is the one where it's, you see where it says modular. Uh, that's what they mean by that. Uh, Diamond Sluice cannot accept upgrades. And then there's an empowered one which will use RF. I don't know. If RF instead of water? I don't know. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm kind of mad about that. Wish I knew that before I spent three emeralds. But, uh, you know, you live and learn. Uh, so we're going to learn this and that and then open up our thing here and uh, we're going to remove the invisible creature one and we're going to put in Creepo. That's going to stay there forever because it is so good. Uh, and the broken heart one, honestly, not that bad. Look at that. We're in the orange now. Uh, okay, so we need to make a gas generator because a gas generator and a solar panel. So the gas generator is going to help us actually whoop, get back over there. I didn't already make this, right? No, I didn't because I made this for the electrolytic separator. I'm going to need to make more dust too because I only made enough to do all the other things because I need, I did the math. I need 84 alloys, 10 osmium dust and 32 gold dust to make the upgrades for these, uh, these machines. Uh, Ooh, and I'm glad I made more steel too. So two of those guys and then two of these. And there we go. Gas generator. Ooh, actually, yeah, that reminds me that upgrade. Uh, we should first off dump all our chore stuff in here. Because uh, I'm very well organized. Let's accept our rewards really quick, just to make sure that we don't get something really cool. Uh, so a bunch of compressed stuff, and our random reward is... Come on. Tier 4 storage module. I have no idea what that is. RF tool storage. 
Supported sacks, 500. Okay. Uh, looks pretty expensive, so you know what? I'm okay with it. I'll take any up or any item that looks expensive, even if I don't understand where it came from, because uh, I don't have to make it later. So yeah, now that we got the full suit, we get our illumination wand uh, over in storage, because we start getting into drawers. We got a black hole unit, great. Uh, one piece of silicon, fantastic. Greater band of mana. Okay, so we got more mana. And another ender pouch. All right, not bad. Uh, the illumination wand. Yeah, right click on a block to spawn a light. Right click on a light to remove it again. That's pretty cool. I think we might be able to even charge it in here. Yeah. It's going to use this entire battery here, but that's okay. We need to use our lava. Look, which is already full again. Um, oh, yeah. See, look. I, I I had one of these in my inventory, and I was like, where the heck did I get this? Uh, it's from this thing. I don't know if it's just dropping them out or what, but I'm glad it stopped. Maybe it stopped after I made one. It's like, I, I don't know where to put this. Uh, okay, cool. So now we can just right-click and make ourselves our own little light. Not bad. Basically, uh, magic torches. They, they don't look great, but... Um, that's okay. And the black hole unit, uh, this is, this looks like it's the, yeah, the base version. It can hold 2,048 items. Uh, oh, we had a, a half a stack of silicon. Okay. That's good. <laughs> run out of, run out of room. We, we, we might need to look into, uh, RF, um, sooner than we thought. Greater band of mana is also pretty nice. Um. Oh my god, he uses a piece of Terra Steel. Uh, that's fantastic, because Terra Steel is expensive, and we can't recycle it, so we can't get that. Can we recycle this? We can. Oh, and we get one thing of Blaze Powder out of it. Because we already have uh, an inner pouch right here, but whatever. Two's not bad. We'll put our compressed stuff into here. And go accept our other rewards. It's so tempting to accept these not on, well, not uh, recording. Mob imprisonment tools also really nice early on. Rubber seeds. Energy hopper. Oh, that might actually be legit. IF generator. Slime seeds. And another energy hopper. And <laughs> we haven't made any of these items, but we keep getting the rewards for them. Another range. Conveyor belt. Cool. Hopefully it's a good amount of them. That'd be great. Apprentice blood orb. It's from blood magic. Uh, ooh. Oh, yes. Nice. I was going to make some of these anyway, so I'm glad to have gotten uh, some of that. Two upgrades for this. Sigil blood lamp. Blood magic. And dye seeds. All right. Is that all of them? Yes. Fantastic. So this will let us right click on any mob and imprison it. And uh, we'll use that for uh, this machine right here, the mob duplicator. So that's pretty good. Uh, we got a good amount of conveyor belts. So that's going to be really good too. Uh, dye seeds, uranium seeds, tier four uranium seeds. Not bad. Um, but the auxiliary process uh, sieve is not the upgrade I thought I got. Energy hopper. I don't know what these are for. I've, I don't think I've ever used these. Let's see. Let's throw. Let's throw an energy cable on them. What do you What do you use these for? To just to just upgrade. I can't. Whoop. I can't right click it on anything. I can't even shift right click it on anything. We'll have to do a little bit of research. I'll keep them over here so I don't forget them. Um, I don't think that we can use this until we get into blood magic. So we're going to ignore that. Put these guys all in there and get rid of that. Okay, fantastic. So uh, now we need to make a solar panel. 
And the reason we're making a solar panel, we, we only need the starter one as well, uh, is because we're gonna have to create a new pump. We can't use this manual pump anymore because um, it only works for the sieves. So uh, we need one that'll work for everything, uh, including the sieve. So we're gonna just replace this block right here with the mechanism pump, which can run off itself with uh, solar. So we don't need to actually uh, siphon any power from our other machines. And uh, Ender Mycelial Generator. Okay. Produces 80 uh, FE a tick for a total of 256,000. Okay, 40 a tick, 64. All right, cool generator. I don't think I'll ever use that because unless I had some sort of unlimited way of getting ender pearls, but even then, like, I found out that these gems here we can throw into a generator and they give us like 120,000 RF or something like that. Um, so anyways, we need to make these solar panels, um, which we're going to need glass panes for, it looks like. And we'll need three of these. We don't need to upgrade it, so I'm not going to right now. Oh my gosh. Like out of everything here. Uh, whoop. This guy. There we go. Uh, and then we need to make a mech, whoop. Mechanism pump. So this is the only pump that I saw that wasn't going to just be uh, like a ridiculous uh, recipe. I don't know how this one works, but like I also don't want to deal with all of that. Uh, immersive engineering. So we're going to go with the mechanism one, um, which is uh, a little bit easier because we have a lot of this stuff already. There it is. And uh, I also tested this pump out. It works with a single water source, so that's really good for us. Um, I just don't really know the placement for it in our line of things here, but uh, I'm thinking it'll probably just go here, replace this one, that way um, we can use what? Or, well, I don't know. Yeah, because I don't want to keep winding this thing. Um, so we're going to get rid of that guy. And we're going to put this guy here. And hopefully we can rotate it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the, uh, the top pumps out the liquid, uh, which I'm really hoping... No, because the sieve only... It doesn't take water from any other direction except for the sides I believe I didn't test this part These fluid pipes we'll take our items with us too because we're probably gonna end up needing them yeah I can't even place a water oh there we go um, and then uh, this is going to be for our solar panel Actually, we can use our basic ones because the solar panel only generates five. Um, so let's take a quick nap. Obviously, this is only going to work during the day. Um, but I think it'll be fine. Once once we reach like an equilibrium on it, I think it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, so there you go. It just barely makes more power than what it uses at like full bore. So yeah, this is, uh, this is not getting water, uh, which stinks. It's not good. Kind of ruins our whole compact thing here, but maybe, maybe we pull this whole setup forward one. <laughs> we should probably also upgrade our pick, our tools. We have metal now, so, uh, all right, and then what? We do like that. 
And then will that work? Okay. Put our mesh back in. Oh, right. There we go. There it is. Okay. Well, okay. Well, maybe maybe my problem was just that I didn't uh, I didn't actually activate. Yeah, that was my problem. It's my only thing with these pipes. I need to remember to put the the input there, or output rather. Uh, okay, so that's good. Uh, and now we can siphon off of this for uh, other water needs, uh, such as my clay production that I'm trying to do. So we can uh, we can chop down this whole thing. And this one's full of items, so... Actually, good test. Nope. <laughs> I was hoping that, uh... It would keep its items, but that's okay. Alright, so, uh... 